Okay, you guys, today we're going to be looking at the Alienware Alpha uh, desktop here. It's kind of like their mini gaming computer. Right now it has an i3 processor, and we're going to be taking this i7 here, and we're going to be upgrading it to the machine. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now that we have it flipped over, we got one screw in each corner. So let's go ahead and take those screws out. Right. So let's go ahead and take all the screws out. Alright, we're going to lose some screws there. Now this cover just pops right off here. We have that aside. Now here is where you have your hard drive. Alright, once we have the screws off and the bottom cover taken off, now you can just simply Remove the top. I would suggest cleaning these fans the best as you can. Um, now you can see this is the CPU, which is labeled, and that's the GPU there. So obviously we're going to be messing with the GPU, so let's go ahead and undo these four screws and pinch these together, and that takes off the heat sink. You can see there's where our memory is located, right there. So if you need to upgrade your memory, this is a good time to do that. And then here's our four screws to take off that heat sink for the CPU. All right, now that we have the fan off, we got the heat sink unscrewed. Let's go ahead and clean this off. I like using just almost like a, just a paper towel just to clear all that old adhesive off because you're definitely going to apply a uh, different thermal uh, paste when you're replacing the CPU. You don't want to reuse the stuff that's already on it. So you want to make sure you clean it really well. Like I said, I just use a paper towel until you have it pretty much clean. Now you can use other things to do that, but um, I find paper towels work just as well. And then let's go ahead and remove the old CPU out of there. So we just need to pull that out, pull it open, and then remove the old CPU. Once we have it removed, now we can add our new i7 CPU in there. Alright, once we got our CPU in there, make sure it's nice and snug and the notches match up. Now we can go ahead and close the case. And then now we need to add in some thermo paste. So we're just using some coarse hair thermo paste, but really any thermo paste is, is pretty much good. Um, I just like doing three lines. But I see people do a circle. I see one people do one big line in the middle. Um, it's just a personal preference because it really doesn't matter. Um, as long as you have some thermo paste on there. Now you want to make sure you don't do too much and not too little. So you just got to be right in that middle area. So now we have our heat sink here. Make sure we have uh, the airflow going in the right way. So see how it's got those arrows there. So we just need to make sure it goes just like this. And line up the screw holes. And now we can go ahead and screw this back in. All right, now let's get our cover on there. And make sure that snaps into place good. And our fans can still move. And now we can put the bottom cover back in once we got that all done there. flip it back over let's put our hard drive back in um, I guess we didn't need to put this pull this out but I just did it just to be on the safe side so you don't really you can probably just skip that step so put in the hard drive locked in and then that's pretty much it so once we finish that get our bottom casing on and that snaps back into place there. And we got our four screws to screw back in and tighten them up. And then now let's get our power cord and everything back and boot it up and make sure it works. All right, we have the computer booted up now, our Alienware Alpha. And you can see we are now reading that new i7 3.4 gigahertz. 
So there you guys have it. That's how easy it is to replace your i3 to an i7 in your Alienware desktop.